Elizabeth, you look wonderful. Well, I'll second that. Lucky's eyes are going to pop out of his head. <laughs> oh, please, he's seen this thing a zillion times. Oh, hey, we've got good news. The hurricane is heading west. It's going to miss the city completely. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. disappointed. I was kind of looking forward to batting down the hatches with you. Hey, aren't you supposed to get changed for the party? Changed? I am changed. What? If I have to go to this thing, I at least want to be comfortable. Besides, nobody's going to notice what I'm wearing. This thing is about people like Jacks throwing their money around. Okay. It's a sad statement, but probably has some truth to it. Where's Courtney? She's away on business, so I'm a member of the Lonely Hearts Club tonight. Oh, poor Jax. You ladies certainly look lovely tonight. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, my limo's waiting. Would you all like a ride to the party? Uh, I can't remember the last time I was in a limo. Well, it's time to write that wrong. All right, then. I, I have to clock out, but don't leave without me, okay? Listen, I, uh, I keep spare ties in the limo if you want to borrow one. All right. Let's get this party started. Hey, you go ahead and I'm gonna meet you guys there, okay? Oh. Hey, I wanna take your shift tonight. <laughs> what you want is to duck a boring party. Yeah, that too. <laughs> I just wanna help find Max before her father completely loses it. Whether Maxie took off voluntarily or or if she was taken. But either way, it's just bad news, okay? Jesse Bolger's dangerous. What is this, like your third double? Listen, I'm, I'm fine, okay? Are you sure? Because we can't afford any mistakes, especially with a young girl's life at stake. Oh, people that I can actually stand. <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting us. Oh, well, it's our pleasure. Thank you for coming. Please. I hope you brought your checkbooks. <laughs> well, what are you guys doing here? Well, uh, listen, Lucky, my guess. Yes, thank you very much for the gracious welcome. <laughs> Nice to see you. Thank you. Where's Courtney? Business trip, Manhattan. Oh, God. The cosmic jokester strikes again. I beg your pardon? It's called stick Carly into a room of people she can't stand and make her grovel for money. You're the director of charitable endowments now. Groveling comes with the territory. You might want to get used to it. Would you like a tip? Do I have a choice? Try not to grovel with attitude. Puts off potential donors. Nice to see you. Thanks. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention? It is my pleasure to introduce General Hospital's new director of charitable endowments and the woman who also happens to be my wife. Thank you. Carly Alcazar. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It is so wonderful to have you all here in our new home. I am so thrilled that you've embraced me in this new endeavor. And I'm honored to carry on the tradition set forth by Lila Quartermain. Under her leadership, this endowment stood for something in this community. Unfortunately, since the time of her death, the same thing can't be said. I promise you that I will make sure that this endowment exists for the purpose of getting help to the people who need it and not the glorification of its members' egos. Well. Nobody cares what you think. You're a figurehead. We're all here and putting up with you because we're being blackmailed. And there's no way in hell you're gonna tell me or any member of my family how to run this organization. Oh, Tracy didn't mean it the way it's like hell I didn't. You dare to speak of my mother? She's spinning in her grave knowing that you have the nerve to make accusations of impropriety about an organization you know absolutely Enough! nothing about. I have about tried that. to be civil. I could have excluded you from any further endowment business. Instead, I invited you into my home and you repay my generosity by attacking my wife. Consider this fair warning. Do it again, and I will make it my life's work to remove each and every one of you from the hospital board. And that's just for starters. So, Tracy, I suggest you return home and rethink your vicious, ungrateful attitude. Either you all work with Carly, or she works without you. Done? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. 
sure you don't want to leave with your family. <laughs> right now, I think I'm embracing the fact that I'm a cast iron, too. <laughs> Carly's not my favorite person, but no one deserves to be humiliated in their own home. Well, let's see if we can shift the focus. If no one objects, I'd like to start the pledges. Put me down for 500000 Thank you, Jax. Anyone else? That was impressive. Money always talks louder than anyone else in the room. Inside. Yeah, that's why I'm in here. You know, there's no justice, you know. You break your back at work, that actually protects people, and all you get from your troubles is tired, and then, <laughs> then you have your Alcazars and your Sunnies who actually get rewarded for breaking the law. Well, hey, don't forget about people like me who've been handed everything since birth. <laughs> Look, listen, Lucky. Thank God we're balanced by people like Elizabeth who don't care about any of it. I understand what you're going through. No, Nicholas, you don't. You can give Emily the life that she deserves. I'm a guy who's letting the woman that I love carry a man's child to bail me out of the financial chaos that I'm in. But Elizabeth is a surrogate for Jackson Courtney because she wants well, to. Well, Elizabeth you. deserves more than I can give her. Has she asked for that? Of course. If she were unhappy with you, would you know it? Well, yeah, one way or well, another. Well, then stop creating a problem that doesn't have to exist, or it's gonna take on a life of its own, Lucky. I was wondering what happened to you. Oh, I was outside talking with Lucky. Why did I miss any fireworks? <laughs> uh, things seem to have settled down, at least for now. And I was thinking, you know, maybe we could duck out of here early, go home, build a fire, open up a nice bottle of wine, pretend the storm came through and left us the only two people on Earth. <laughs> um, I, I think I'm going to stay a little longer, you know, just make sure Lucky's really okay with everything. Okay. Can you some more champagne? Sure. Okay. Hey, look abandoned. Oh, well, I'm trying not to look that way. <laughs> no. If I was working Lucky's hours, I'd probably be crashed on the couch somewhere. Yeah. You gotta hand it to the guy. He does work hard. I know. I'm very proud of him. You should be proud of yourself, too. I know no slouch in the full schedule department. Mm -hmm. You got your nursing career, you're raising a child. You're willing to have another one to better your life and Cameron's and Lucky's. And you're passing down some very valuable genes to the child that you're having for Courtney and me. And in case no one has told you, you look stunningly beautiful tonight. Well, you are the first. As a matter of fact, you fit right in. Thank you. And thank you for my water. The champagne glass is a nice touch. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I was hoping it would be you. It's my wife. I'm gonna get out of here. Let's go. All right, you stay here. You're having a good time and you're fitting in well. Lucky, wait. I'm getting everybody's attention. The bridge has been washed out, so like it or not, we're all stuck here for the duration. 